Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. The fall colors are getting more and more prominent in the surroundings and they continue to inspire me. So the color that I have chosen today is the color red and you all know it by now that I'm going to work with the red tomatoes. So the dish of the day is stuffed tomatoes and I am bringing in everybody's favorite potatoes to stuff the tomatoes. So this is a dish that I really love. It's colorful, it's sweet, it's tangy. So without much ado, let's head to the kitchen and get started with the list of ingredients. So here is the list of things you need. We are going to get started with the boiled potatoes. So I have chopped them into small pieces. In a pan, I'm going to heat some oil, add the potatoes. We're just going to fry them for a while. It just makes it tastier. Add salt, pinch of turmeric, add the ginger paste, garlic paste, just fry them for a little bit. Add the finely chopped chilies and then top it up with the coriander and the potatoes are ready. So we'll mash the potatoes with a fork because that's what we are going to stuff in our tomatoes. Add the dry onion powder, it adds a little bit more flavor to the filling. So next we will scoop all the pulp out of the tomatoes to create the pocket for filling. Save the pulp and juices because we'll use it in the curry. I'm just removing a slight layer at the bottom so that they can sit stable. Next we're going to take some salt and rub the inside of the tomatoes. It just seasons the tomatoes well. And then I'm going to stuff the tomatoes with the filling. So just be nice and gentle, you don't have to push too much into it because the tomatoes may split at the top. So we're going to repeat this process till all the tomatoes are filled. Now if you have some excess filling, you can just eat it as is or fill some more tomatoes if you want to. So I did do that with some small tomatoes that I had extra. So there you are, all the tomatoes are done. Now in a flat pan, heat some oil and place these tomatoes. Make sure you cook them on medium to low flame. While the tomatoes are getting cooked, here is a list of ingredients you need for gravy. So we'll start with uh, chopping the I'm going to grind and make a fine paste of the onions and then heat oil in a kadhai and add the onion paste. We need to cook this well till it changes color to golden brown. Next we are going to add salt, turmeric powder, coriander powder, cumin powder and mix the masala. Then add Kashmiri mirch along with garlic paste and ginger paste. And then we are going to cook this masala so that all the spices are infused into the onion paste so we're going to cook for a while and while this cooks we'll come back to our tomatoes and gently turn them around you can see they have started to soften a bit so you have to handle them very very carefully so back to the masala you see that it's cooked well and now we are going to pour the juices and the pulp of the tomato that we saved. Now if you don't like too much of tanginess, you can add some sugar 
or use less of the juices and the pulp. Add half a cup of water or more to make sure that you get the right consistency of the gravy. You don't want it too thick, but if you like it thick, you can adjust the water accordingly. Use a blender and blend the mixture. So you can see you have the gravy ready. So we'll get back to the tomatoes. You can see they have softened and have been cooking for roughly 25 to 30 minutes on low heat. But if you want to expedite, you can cover them up. Next, I spray a baking tray with some cooking oil and I place these uh, stuffed tomatoes. Uh, so here's a little twist that I uh, do and I like it uh, because it adds more flavor. Uh, just add shredded cheese on top of the tomatoes. Now you can use any cheese of your choice. I'm using the cheddar cheese here and then broil for three to four minutes on high. And here they are. The cheese has melted and then you can pour the gravy on top. If you want, you can even deconstruct the dish. Garnish it with the coriander leaves. And of course, add a little bit of color with those cherry tomatoes. And here you are ready to serve the stuffed tomatoes. Just look how the inside looks. Isn't it amazing? If you enjoyed watching this, give me a like. And if you want to see more, do not forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching.